Today we're talking Halloween knives and superstitions. Let's light it up. TC. Yep. Um, I love Christmas, but my favorite time of the year is always Halloween. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an awesome time of year. I mean, the leaves changing, you get that cooler weather. Even if during the day, sometimes it still gets kind of warm. Like right now, it's really cool early in the morning, really cool late in the evening. Yeah. Yes, we're also here in Tennessee where we experience all four seasons in one day. Yes. Uh, you, you can never dress appropriately. No. It's, it's jackets in the morning. It's uh, tank tops at lunchtime, long sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> in the afternoon, yeah. So it's... Uh, it's unique, but it's my favorite time of the year. We've got, you know, we try to be festive, and uh, we've got we've got a special knife that we're going to talk about first before yep. we get into what our favorite scary movie knives are. Yep. So in the bowl of doom, our Spyderco Tenacious right here, customized by our custom shop with titanium scales, and you can see it's been anodized right there. Good job, Dylan, on creating this. So we've got bats, we've got spiders, we've got spider webs, we've got pumpkins, we've got Pumpkin. coffins. What? Sniff it. Sniff it. Sniff it. Sniff it. Pumpkin spice gunny glide. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. So we have a gunny glide knife lube that is pumpkin spice scented and it is perfect for that knife. So that's what our custom shop put on that one when they, oh, that one. isn't that cool? That is a cool design. I like the purple. It's yep. titanium, why are we selling this for? So, uh, actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> well, this is the beauty. It's hot it. off the presses. I'll put it It uh, It actually just came out. Our, our custom shop just got done with it. It is hot, 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 hot. Thick hot and uh, so that is the uh, base model tenacious right there with the titanium tenacious scales four-way pocket clip and uh, 8 CR 13 MOV on the blade steel with that nice uh, PVD coated blade and looks like we got it for $79.99 straight out of our custom shop okay that'll be gone I, I don't know if we made enough of them but if you're seeing this uh, you might want to pause the video go straight to it and get it uh, get, 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 really get it cool. now. For that price, I think I'll be getting one of these. That's really cool. I'm uh, not included. No, it's a charge. Sweet. And we've got, we also picked out some of our favorite uh, horror movie or Halloween themed knives. Yes, yes. and uh, you've picked out two and I've yep. picked out two. And My first one is going to be the Jason themed machete. Now this one's not quite necessarily the original, but this is the one that I picked out. This is a Condor. This one's coming in, I think, at like 112, 114, something like that. Um, but And it's definitely not going to fit in the uh, screen right there. But this is a really cool machete, I believe, designed by Joe Flowers. I could be wrong on that one. But uh, Joe has done a lot of that work. Got the brass lanyard tube in the back end. Really nice Kydex sheath coming with this one. Holy smokes, yeah. Look, look at that thick leather on that uh, dangle belt loop. And then uh, nice universal kydex sheath right there really nicely done got the paracord on the end and i really like that one going for the uh, jason theme what's your first one so uh, my first one is uh, we were just talking about uh, the shining so yes i have a uh, you know hard time uh, it's a transfers brook brook transfers brook doesn't roll off my tongue but Really nice so brand. Really nice axe. Really nice axe. It's going to chop through doors. It's going to be a 35 inch handle. We've also got them in 31 inches as well. And uh, that's a beast of an axe. That one's going to chop through the doors. Yeah. Here's Johnny. And just blasting it down. Let's see. That's your, that's your best. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, <laughs> that one, that one's running around what two fifty? Uh, is, is that what we said? Two eighty five. Two eighty five. Two eighty five. 
Alright, well you got okay, you've got the classic. We fought on we fought So I went back and forth. I, I picked the buck one twenty, but also the buck one one nineteen fits, just a little bit different size. But uh, that's gonna represent Scream. It's also gonna represent Joel from The Last of Us as well. So really dig that knife. That's been a classic right there for a really long time. This has been a classic hunting knife, a nice buoy design right there with the boss heat treat on that S35VN blade. This is the pro model with the micarta handles and the fit and finish on this thing is absolutely beautiful. And I really dig that one. So that one's coming in at $209.99. I'm a little late for it now when we're doing the, the shining space. You ever watched uh, Half Baked? Yes. <laughs> you know when he goes to jail and they look at him and they say, show me your mean face. He goes, <laughs> that's what I feel like we look like. Show me a mean face, Kenny. <laughs> 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 um, and then lastly, I went with uh, the Michael Myers theme. Yep, so. the kitchen knife, the yeah. 8-inch chef's knife. And that is that is what he's known for. That sticker's on there. Oh, yeah. Just... Did... <laughs> <laughs> you know, hold on, hold on. I don't want to rip it. There we go. Woo. This one in particular is the Victorinox with the rubberized handle. That means uh, you're not gonna, it's not gonna slip out of your hand when you get too much blood on it and stuff there. So. It feels that's... really good. <laughs> and that one's coming in at $73 right there. So really, really nice knife, rubberized handle. And uh, really dig that thing right there. A very reputable, reputable oh. And we've been using those as, as like camp cooking knives for a yeah, long time really now. Every time we go out in the woods, we take one of those for with us, and uh, we've got one up here somewhere. We but just... in, all, in all seriousness, blood or not, that that grip is something that you want uh, when you're when you're going in any kind of situation. You gotta oh, there it is. Huh. Yep. Didn't even have to. Oh, there's the one we use. <laughs> needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Need to be cleaned up a little. But it hasn't rusted. And it's we've had it for it's still got that that well you thought what well, might have been rest is barbecue sauce. Yep. And it has been on there for a year now. <laughs> and and T C custom kind of live wire with it at one point too. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I think I just dinged it. I think I dinged it. We're not gentle. No. We we're kinda of rough on these things. Um, but we also wanted to go over some knife superstitions. We did this uh, a couple of years ago with Jason from our web department and we wanted to do that again and so we'll, we'll mention the ones that uh, we went over and then we're going to read some of the comments off the video the last ones what you guys said were some of the superstitions yeah so one you've never truly owned a knife unless it has bitten you so if a knife bites you it is yours then and by and that you mean getting getting cut by it yes if it bites you Sharpening a blade after dark is bad luck, Not and that, that explains a lot for you. Uh, that one's, I'm guilty of that one. I am too. I, I do that a lot at night when I'm just I sitting around. I have a that I yep. sit in, and yeah, yep. I do striping. On Absolutely. Yeah, so. Sleeping on a bed with a knife underneath it scares away evil spirits, and there's a lot of ones that revolve around that too. Hey, I do have a knife under my bed. Yep, yep. So, uh, gifting a knife will cause the friendship to be severed. So the person receiving the knife should give a penny and the friendship will last forever. So that is why a lot of people who want to gift a knife, they've actually, they always carry a coin with them as well. I don't know if that one can be true unless you guys hate me. Because <laughs> we have given each other a lot of that. Yeah, we have. We, we really have. Yep. Nope. Yep. I'm glad you enunciated that well. We give away a lot of knives too on the channel yeah i'm sorry guys <laughs> always hand a knife we gave the stick maybe the sticker can count as the pin there we go there we go always hand a knife hilt first so when you're passing one to someone hand it to them like that that is going to be the safe method yeah i don't really want to grab that um and obviously that's going to be bad luck just in general uh because you don't want to grab the blade but um yeah and then it is bad luck to hand a knife back to someone in any other manner than how they handed it to you. Uh oh, just broke it. I set it down on the table. Yeah. Uh, but no, that really refers to folding knives. So if I hand this one to Isaac, 
with it open. I don't do this. He doesn't close it and hand it back to me. You can keep it until you fix that. There we go. That's better. Now, those were the ones that we went over in that video a couple of years ago. Actually, almost three years ago now. It's been a while. We've, we've been at this. It's been a while. But we wanted to go over some of the ones that you guys shared with us on that video. There was definitely some interesting ones in the comments. And one of them said, my mom genuinely believes that it's in a superstition. Let's that give them some shout outs. Mom this is from Jolier, Holier, 1313. My mom genuinely believes in a superstition that no knives can be in a bedroom that is shared by people as the knife produces a bad energy that leads to fighting amongst those people. This can apply to siblings, roommates, even married and non-married couples who share and sleep in the same bedroom. How are you supposed to keep a knife under the bed? It's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. I did not let my wife near the knives. Or not. That's scary. Just from a Korean heritage, this one's from Jeff Juice 3886. Just from a Korean heritage, I've heard that a knife, heard that knife gift one, yo, oh, I've heard that knife gift one. However, it wasn't just gifting in general, but specifically to not give as a gift for weddings. The reason is because uh, it is a specific occasion where two people are coming together, and a knife symbolizes cutting or splitting things apart. Also not a superstition, but just my thoughts and feelings. I never feel like a knife is truly mine until I have disassembled and cleaned it. I like that one. I like that. Well, yeah. what do you do with uh, just a skeleton knife? Big split. <laughs> Clean it and sharpen it. Yeah, that's it. So... You've got to, like, remelt it down. <laughs> and reforge it. Um, so, let's see here. We've got... I made my girlfriend give me a penny when I gave her an SAK. Then she lost the knife by leaving it on the roof of her car. Wait a minute, I'm confused. So the person, you, so if I give you a knife, you're supposed to give me a penny? Or yeah. Or I give you the no. penny and the knife is free? No. The person is supposed to give you the penny. I got you. Yeah. Got you. So she then lost the knife by leaving it on the roof of her car. Eventually we broke up, but at least it was by mutual agreement and not related to that whole thing. <laughs> wow. That one was by uh, Grom Molotov. Um, so thank you, Grom, for that one. That was a good one. This one was a great one from uh, Knife Chats with Tobias, from Tobias there. As for knife superstition, stir with a knife and you stir up strife. Stirring liquids with a knife will bring you bad luck and trouble. You should never stir with your knife. That's what Do you a think spoon that's is for. They just came up with it because it rhymes. I think they came up with the rhyme as a way to remember that. I really do. Yeah. Let's see. The East Asian Chris blade was so bloodthirsty that it would leave during the night to kill of its own accord. Several other tidbits like this pertain to the Chris blade. That one from Rooster Dad 50. A knife just like floating around. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> And uh, also, there was one that I wanted to bring up. This one was in a list. Russian folklore, a knife laying with the sharp side up means murder, murderers are being born while it is left that way. What? So, if you leave a knife, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult with most knives, but some knives can actually stay well, like that. that spider cut, actually. Another superstition is that you should never put a combat knife back into its sheath if it hasn't drawn blood, because it will then fail you in battle. What is a combat knife? That argument well, maybe we need to answer that in another video because we're not going to do that today. So, oh, I've sparked something. A knife I made of it. a knife made of steel is believed to protect you against against curses and fairies. A knife made of steel. Yeah. So all knives. Not all of them. We've got the trainers, the cold steel ones. Two knives crossed on the table with co will cause quarrel. Also, it is also believed crossed on a table will cause quarrel. It is also believed. That two knife blades so cross. Jolly Rogers thing is. Uh... Yeah. Exactly. And it is also believed that two blades crossed is witchcraft. Yes. So. Okay. Well, that's. Uh... Yeah, it says hundreds of years ago, people believed that placing a knife across another piece of cutlery was a sign of witchcraft. Okay. And sticking a knife into a cradle's headboard is believed to protect the baby. 
Also, and also, also get a hold of social services. Like that. <laughs> also, thrusting it into the door of a house is believed to provide protection. Yes. And placing the knife under the bed of a woman giving birth is believed to ease her pain during labor. I just want to know how they. <laughs> How do, you, how do you come up with that? Like, I don't know. So folks, if there's any that we haven't mentioned or any that you guys know of that uh, maybe we didn't get into in our first video or in this one, let us know in the comments down below. We wanna know those knife superstitions because that's, I mean, that's that's the fun of what we're all doing here. So yeah, yes, it's this is very fun. interesting, absolutely. So folks, remember if it cuts like a Halloween scary horror knife, then we carry it.